Rollsplitters.com. I'm Scott Erland, joined by Director of Track and Field, Rochelle Black. Coach, it's time for the outdoor season. It doesn't feel like it outside. It doesn't feel like it outside with all the snowfall, but the outdoor season starts this weekend at the 49er Classic. So what are you most looking forward to with the, uh, the upcoming outdoor season? <laughs> Warm weather, first and foremost. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, it schools out today because of the snow, which shouldn't be here. But uh, we got a lot of kids that haven't been able to do their events this year. We got some 400 meter hurdlers that are finally able to run and a javelin thrower. So I'm looking forward to them actually seeing what they can do. So what events are you most looking forward to this weekend in particular? Uh, the 400 hurdles, really. Uh, we've got uh, Anna from Spain. She's a freshman here, and uh, she's pretty good in the 400 hurdles, so I'm sure she wants to get out there, and I'm excited to see her run, as well as Jamal Wiggins uh, out of Florida. So these are events that they came here to do originally, so it's now time for them to actually do that, as well as uh, both Kyle Navy and, <clears throat> excuse me, and Aaron Reed in the javelin. It's events we've never done before. Well, and just talk about all, so just run down a few of the events that we are competing in, just where to watch and stuff this weekend. Uh, obviously, you know, we got our, our sprinters out there. Uh, Tosin's going to be running the 400 and the 200, as well as uh, Jerrica and Jordan both doing the four. Uh, we have a, a, a flock of ladies doing the 200 this weekend, just to get some, just to get some uh, speed work a little bit. Uh, Karen and Morgan are both doing the triple jump. Uh, I've already mentioned Anna, I've mentioned uh, Kyle, and I've mentioned Jamal. Uh, we have our distance runners running as well. George is going to run the 5K and the 10K, uh, so he'll probably only do one. I think it's just more of seeing how the field lies out. Uh, Brandon, who, who's been injured for a good part of the uh, indoor season and ran, ran our conference championships, he's getting back into form, but he's going to run the 800 and the 1500. And then we've got Javon, who's going to do the 800 as well, uh, but he's also going to uh, dabble in the 400, so working a little bit of speed there. Well, we've talked about this on the podcast and in other capacities, but how do things change now that you go from indoor to the outdoor season? It wasn't that long ago the indoor season ended. We know there are a lot of our athletes that feel much more comfortable in the outdoor section of the track and field world. So just talk about how things change now. Yeah, well, you know, during the indoor season, we go to different tracks, and they're all different sizes. Where you go to an outdoor track, you all know it's 400 meters, four laps is a mile. So they have a little bit of comfort there. Um, like I said, a lot of our kids came here to do more outdoor track and field type events, the 400 hurdles. Even Tosin running the 400, he's more accustomed to the 400 outdoors uh, compared to indoors. So they'll be more comfortable, more in their wheelhouse. Well, and then also just talk about, you know, how the team is preparing for this particular meet. No pun intended, but it is a marathon, not a sprint. So how is the team preparing in their approach this weekend in particular? Uh, something I talked to the team about earlier was uh, equating it to uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. Right now we're just – we're just making our food and setting our table. This is just the start of a long season. Uh, I know we, I know we uh, have our conference championships uh, late April, but we got a lot of track meets in between now and then. So this is just a small stepping stone to a longer season. Well, the outdoor season begins at the 49er Classic. The 49er Classic kicks off on Thursday, but the Lincoln Memorial will be taking part on Friday and Saturday. For Rochelle Black, I'm Scott Erland, and this is LMURealSplitters.com.